Developing story this Wednesday at 6, OCAC and other local organizations continue their efforts now to help tenants of 417 rentals. Those folks may be facing eviction because of the result of a bankruptcy case. And those agencies met today to talk about a multi-agency response event that's coming up to help at the end of the month. Keller Tunes' Nigel McDonald spoke with several 417 tenants and has more with their stories. David, Heather, the 417 tenants I spoke with today have until May 1st to be out of their units. However, most of these residents say they have no idea what's next for their families. All they know is they're getting uh, an apartment at a great price. It sounds great, you know, but you get here and the plumbing don't work. You don't have sinks in most of the places. Some don't have toilets. You can't bathe here. They're here stuck and who are they gonna ask? You may ask yourself, why would someone sign a lease under such conditions? Well, Family Service Specialist Kimberly North of OCAC says 417 tenants typically face barriers. Perhaps a felony or a prior eviction or credit issues. Making it harder for them to qualify for most places. We are still actively and always searching for landlords, property managers um, that would be willing to work with somebody. Eileen Montgomery and her grandfather live at the Wishing Well. Without looking at it in advance, Montgomery says in a phone call she was promised a nice apartment for a price that she could afford. Her 417 rental property looks like this. The Gatley property was recently purchased after going into foreclosure. I'm so glad, so glad he's in the position he is in right now that he can't you know, use people who uh, don't have as much money. Montgomery says her family's current living conditions are unbearable and she's not alone. It ain't right how he did people. We had to live here in my room three of the coldest uh, winter days in the year without heat because he wouldn't, you know, didn't pay the bill. Pete, like many other tenants, is now uncertain where to turn with less than a month away from his move out date. They're, they're going to make us all leave by the first. I don't know where I'm going to go. Gatley Properties is currently in the middle of several lawsuits. The multi-agency response center will take place at the end of the month and is open for all 417 rental tenants. Visit our website at ozarksfirst.com for more information. Again, folks, that event uh, for those folks affected by this uh, in bankruptcy case is coming up April 26th and 27th at the Dream Center. That's at 829 West Atlantic in Springfield.